Creating an animation or architecture video has been pretty difficult for a long time. Now, it's extremely easy. Today, we're gonna create an architecture video with Midjourney 7. Here is a video outline of everything we will go over, and I have the video timestamp so you can jump around if you would like. Also, make sure to stick around until the end because I'm gonna show you a bonus tip that'll quickly elevate your architectural imagery, and it'll save you a bunch of time. Head over to midjourney.com and sign up if you haven't already. It'll ask you to sign up for one of their plans, basic plan, standard, pro, or mega plan. A lot of people tend to go with the basic plan, but if you're gonna be using Midjourney more than twice a week, especially for videos, you probably wanna go with the standard plan. If you're just starting off in Midjourney, you can try to follow along, or you can start with this Midjourney 7 beginner tutorial I created. It's linked in the description below. Head over to the Create tab on the left-hand side. The first thing we're gonna need is an image to create the video from. You can use an image that you've created in Midjourney, or you can add an image like an architectural rendering that you've already created. To add an image, click this icon up here, and then choose a file and drop it here. I'm gonna add this image I created earlier using Midjourney and click Open. This will drop the image into your Midjourney library. After the image is uploaded, click it here, and it will add it to your prompt. Now we're gonna tell Midjourney in about two to three short sentences what we want the animation to be about. Like a quick little short story. It's a bright, sunny day outside. A girl is walking to her house. There are birds flying in the sky and the flowers are swaying in the wind. You can press enter or click the send icon. The hardest part about writing a good prompt is knowing what you want. Available to patrons and linked in the description below is the Midjourney Cheat Sheet. It's a complete Midjourney reference guide that's made specifically for architecture. You can see its completion process in the top left of the videos. When you hover over the videos, it'll play the preview. When Midjourney creates a video, they're always five seconds long. You can also extend these videos by about four seconds if you hover over them and click Extend Auto or Extend Manual. My favorite video is the one in the top left here, so I'm gonna click into it. In the bottom right, we have creation actions and extend video. Midjourney can automatically extend a video with low motion or high motion. Typically with like architectural videos, you wanna stick with low motion, but play around with both to see which one you like. The second option is manual low motion or high motion. With the manual option, you can tell Midjourney more information, and this is the outcome. You can get out of the current video by clicking the X. You can also create a video out of any Midjourney images you've already created. I'm going to scroll down and find an image that I've made in the past. You can animate an upscaled image or one that you have not upscaled yet. This is an upscaled image I created earlier for the thumbnail. I'm going to click into it. Because right now this is just a still image, I can animate it with auto or manual. I'm gonna animate it with auto low motion. And this is the outcome. Sometimes Midjourney doesn't do the best job of adding people into your image, and then it's up to you to Photoshop them in yourself. A render without people is dull and lifeless. When you create them in Midjourney, you still have to remove the background yourself. This process works well, but it's tedious, and that is why I went ahead and created a massive pack of over 500 cutout people with transparent backgrounds. They are also in a PNG file format. Head over to the link in the description and use the promo code YouTube to save some money. This pack is also available and free to all Patreon members. If you like the video, please like the video and subscribe down below if you want to see future content just like this. Check out those two videos over there. I think you'll really enjoy them. And if you want to support the channel further, check out the Patreon. You get a lot of great architecture-related benefits, and your name gets featured in the videos.